Hey everyone again. This is part two of the uh, Happy Mail unboxing from my friend Jeanette. And she has sent the other two boxes and I received them. And so I wanted to open them on camera as well to see what other treasures she has given me for junk journaling. Let me see if I can open this box. Okay. Here we go. Oh my, we have some Ideals magazines. If you are a junk journaler, you know that these are gold. Let's see if I can pull out the other items real quick so I can get the box down. So look at this stack of Ideals magazines. Thank you, thank you, Jeanette. This is so, so great. We have all of the seasons and holidays. It looks like we have Christmas. The images in here are gorgeous and the poetry is so, so lovely. This is November. Okay, let me think. 1972. Oh, someone wrote it right above it. After I deciphered it, I saw that. That's funny. Oh, look how fun this is. The alphabet of Christmas. I bet it is so fun. Um, this is like one of the most fun jobs I think that would be, would be setting up scenes for photographs or um, being the one who gets to go pick out the items for a movie or a TV show set, especially one that's supposed to be set back in another era. I think that would be so fun. <gasps> Look, it's like a, a vintage catalog page. So neat. This is the rural issue. Lots of farms and country. Oh, that's pretty. The bird. I lived in the country for a while and we had cows on our property. And so I used to play out in the pasture with the hay. It was great. It was fuel. What was it that Anna Grieha was great? Gables called it something about fuel for the imagination or something. <laughs> this is um, scenic issue, so it must be a lot of pictures of nature. So pretty. Look, the geyser. Sunny days. I wonder if she wrote the year in all of these. Some of these aren't Roman numerals. This is 71. Kitty. So cool. I love it when these things are still on the back too. Oh yeah. The envelope and the ads. Memory issue. This is 1965. That is picturesque, isn't it? Oh, man. So I love it when they do these tinted photographs like this because if you ever wanted to do a color theme journal, hint, hint, I am starting on a color theme journal right now. I'm going to do a set of two. That is what I spent my day today sourcing. I'm not going to tell you the color yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be fun. I ha I've made color journals one other time for a couple of dear friends of mine. Uh, but never to sell. And I had so much fun with those and I'm so excited to get back to another color theme. Summertime, 1988, I think, 
here. Beautiful. Autumn leaves. It is about time to start thinking about this, isn't it? We went for a walk tonight and it had, for the first time, that little, tiny little crisp in the air. Let's see. 73. Pretty, lots of browns and greens. Autumn ideals again. Let's see, this is nineteen seventy two. So pretty. Oh, man. I love it. These are just so pretty. They all, looks like they all still have the envelope in the back, which is amazing. Thanksgiving, 1968. I feel like some of these are cool enough that you could frame them. That just looks like a, a really vintage, like paint by number. Beautiful. Thank you, Jeanette. I will not be able to uh, put those aside for long because um, I will definitely be sourcing some stuff for my color theme journal from that. I saw a couple of pages that I'm gonna snag. Thank you. And then we have some more Golden Book Encyclopedias. This is uh, the C's and the B's to C's, A and B and A. These are awesome. I love it when they do these timelines. So cool. These will be so colorful to add to my whimsical childhood, childhood storybook type journals, which is one of my favorite types to make. Just whimsical retro childhood storybook children's literature. <laughs> I could go on and on. Okay. Fox 2. Barbecue American style. Look at her outfit. And there's a patio. Patios or what decks are today, I guess. Look at all the cuts of steak. So fun. A lot of times these little recipe booklets don't have color pictures, but this one does. Featuring the matchless self-cleaning Electro Grill by Beatrice. <laughs> Rhymes and songs for the very young. Oh, this will be fun. I love illustrations like this. Oh my goodness. One of my goals is to make a teddy bear journal. And I have seen so many of y'all make one and they are precious and I want to make one. I just don't think I have enough material yet. You know, I might if I just start ripping out things that I see and saving them. Look at that cat playing the bagpipes. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, that's so cool. Another golden encyclopedia. The pictures are just so lovely. Look at the little fairies. Or are they elves? Better Homes and Gardens Barbecue Book. This must have been some estate sale. Oh my goodness. I would have, they'd have to cart me out of there when they had to close. Mm -mm. Better Homes and Gardens just has 
The way they use fonts and change the color and the sizing of the fonts throughout, I just love it. It just has such a eye-catching way about it. Blueberry pancakes. So I don't know if you guys have ever been to Washington, D.C., but if you go, and those of you who live near there know what I'm about to say, um, on Saturday mornings, I don't know if it's all year, but definitely in the spring and summer, go to the city market. I think it's called the city market. It's the biggest fresh market in Washington. There's a fish market and all of this stuff. But there's, um, every Saturday morning, they make something called Blue Bucks, and it's buckwheat pancakes with blueberries. And they are like 14 inches big. They cover your plate. And we kept, thinking, you know, look at the line. We're not going to wait in that line. I am so glad we did. Those were the best pancakes. And the experience of ordering them is fun too because well, you'll just, you know what I'm talking about if you've been. Okay, fine furniture for the amateur cabinet maker. Oh my goodness, my son may steal this from me before I can use it. This is German. I think. Yep. Awesome. Um, so this is cool. These are like schematics. There's a Girl Scout certificate tucked in here. Look at that. 1979. I wonder if this she did her Girl Scout project with woodworking. That's normally with Boy Scouts, but that's awesome. That's fine. That is fine furniture. These aren't little piddly projects. These are... <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to show this to my son. He is going to want to see this. And probably my dad, too. They both love work working with wood. That's so cool. And then down in the bottom, I see more fabric. Look at this, some more calico. It feels, a it feels cotton, but it feels like it might have a little bit of polyester in it, but the colors are so fun and unique. That's so pretty. Okay, this looks like another deconstructed dress or shawl or collar got a zipper in it. Let's see, it would be, it'd be going this way. I don't know what it is, but it's cool and it can be cut apart and used so many ways. Oh my goodness. So many little elements everywhere. Thank you, Jeanette. This will be fun. And we have some, this is something you don't see every day. This is like a a crochet, somewhat stretchy, black. Can you see all the fine detail? Pretty. Just little, uh, four, four little strips of that. And these are fun. These look like quilting squares. They look very Willie Pulitzer, very beachy. I love this. These will make great pockets. Oh, wow, look at this. I love these colors together. Mm-hmm, we got some seahorses. So, on my bucket list, I have a big bucket list, y'all, is to make, a, like, a vintage retro Hawaiian journal. You know, or, like, think, of like, Annette Funicello and those 1950s beach-themed Disney movies. Um, I think this would be so fun in that. That is gorgeous. And then we have sparkly stars. Look, can you see the glitter in the fabric? This reminds me of Reading Rainbow. <laughs> I love this. Thank you. And 
then we have the little, is this the Mexican holiday? That's awesome. Yep, he's got the little guitars or ukuleles. Thank you, Jeanette. This was such a super fun haul to share with me, and I appreciate you doing this, and I cannot wait. I'll have to make a list of all the things that I want to do with all of these items and try to video them or at least show the finished product of what I make with all of this. So I appreciate this so much, and thank you also, viewers, for sticking with me today through the second, the part two flip through of my very first Happy Meal from Jeanette. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Talk to you again soon. Bye.